Hey, what's up with the bag of moss? Why is it in front of the camera? Well, it costs about $1.67. You can pick it up at most craft stores like Walmart, Hobby Lobby, the likes, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, any place where they sell crafty type stuff, you can pick it up and it can really up your product photography game. So all of us paint lures, all of us want the world to see how beautiful they are, and there's a lot of different ways to showcase. I'm just gonna show you a couple ways. And we're gonna start with this bag of moss. So I've used a little bit of it, and I like to go for a natural look, and every now and again, I like to change what my stuff looks like, how I display. So this is the latest creation that I've done, and it's very, very inexpensive. This is a tile, it's slate, and it came from an old coffee table that I had that I don't use anymore. It was wrought iron. I saved these. They make really great shelves. Um, so there was, I just repurposed this. These are just river stones from around the, the clear water streams and creeks and stuff that I fish, as is all of this stuff. So that is zero cost out of pocket. I have a light that shines down on this. I also have a light over here that I can shine onto this if I want to. I also have behind this a, just a piece of cardboard that I've painted completely black and it's a matte black so it's not going to reflect any light. It's going to absorb light and it gives a really good rich environment for me to shoot my lures in so that when I place a lure in here it really stands out and I use this this light here is a warm light this light here is an LED it's a cool light warm and cool together and you can see the difference when I pull the light away from that there's your warm light this is a combination of both when you use a combination of both you'll find that you really get that true color in there um, this is from Daniel Jones. Thank you, Daniel. I really appreciate it. I put my coffee on it this morning. In fact, there you go, from Daniel Jones. And uh, I've got a jitterbug that I'm in the process of repainting for him. He's a jitterbug fanatic and also a really accomplished painter. So very cool. But anyways, yeah, this is a good way to do it. Almost zero cost out of pocket. The moss was $1.67. This was repurposed. This is all driftwood from around Bull Shoals and some of the creeks that I, you know, just basics. Oh, uh, Gerald Novick painted this. And it's never on camera. It's, I like it. So it just kind of hangs out with me in the room. And that's the space. And you can get pretty close up on it. And if I wanted to, if I just wanted to showcase, and of course I'd have hooks on here, but if I just wanted to showcase this by itself, I can, I can manipulate this camera lens to where I'm just shooting the bait on this backdrop, if I wanted a plain backdrop, or if I just wanted to bring this down. You can see it's got a little bit of texture to it. The light plays really well off of it. So there you go. Um, just a real simple trick and tip to up your game in product photography. Make sure that you use a light that's focused on your area, or you could do away with all of this indoor stuff and you can shoot outside if you have a, a tree stump that's been chopped that looks really cool, or even if you wanna put it down on your cement driveway or gravel driveway. You can even get gravel and a couple of rocks that look fairly cool from your yard. So there's a lot of different ways that you can be creative with product photography and lure photography and displaying your stuff and not spend a lot of money on it. And that is your Monday quick tip of the day.